Hey guys, Soja Girl. This is the morning of my marathon. I'm pretty excited. I'm still getting dressed. And um, it's about 3.20 um, a.m. Um, I'm supposed to be at my pickup at, I want to say that was supposed to be at, it's at 5 o'clock. So I'm up early because I want to make sure that I get down there in time. Um, because I believe there is about a 5, no, there's a 10, 10 block walk to the shuttle pickup and so I just want to make sure that I'm down there enough time to walk and whatever um, but yeah I'm, I'm excited you guys I'm super excited I did go to scissor last night and have, and have dinner I had pasta I had meatballs I had bread I've been hydrating um, Yesterday I actually did really bad with my diet though, you guys, like seriously, like I almost didn't eat anything and I, I think that was just because I was too excited and I got so wrapped up um, with making sure that I was having, I was getting everything else done that I had to do because you guys know I'm leaving out um, to Georgia um, tomorrow morning. So um, just a combination of getting ready for that and getting ready for this at the same time, I, um, I honestly just forgot to eat. But I, have, I did hydrate. And I did eat last night. I'm going to grab something this morning, probably um, something simple, a bagel, banana, um, of course, more water. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll um, show you guys my room since I didn't show it yesterday when I got here. Um, I'm at the Renaissance. You guys want to see my shicey view of Burger King? I'm going to show you my view of Burger King. There it is, right there. Not much of a view, but I'm okay with it. Or whatever, so. Let me zoom this out. See my tutu? I'm thinking what I'll probably do is just put that stuff in a bag. And then, um, I'll probably put this my stuff in a bag and probably just put it on right before we start. It's a nice, nice size little room. It is a nice, li nice size little room or whatever. So yeah. But um, I'm, ready. I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. So I'll probably um. Okay, guys, this is it. This is my get up. Okay. Now, um, like I said before, I'm just gonna probably put this um. I'm probably going to just put the um, tutu and my leg warmers in a bag so that way I don't have to be sitting on a bus with this flipping tutu on and so um our leg warmers I could uh yeah so I'm gonna just put it in a bag so that way and let me go in here so you guys can actually see me I love this pink you guys know I'm a lover 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 of pink so this is what um this is what it's gonna look like just black um just pink on black basically um pretty excited um I've got my Nike gear going on, my visor. Now, I was going to look for a pink visor, but I couldn't find one. So, this is basically what's going to work. So, like I said, I'm going to probably actually put it in my uh, marathon. Oh, nice oh, nice nice Quads are cramping so bad, terribly bad. So I'm trying to walk it out, but the shit ain't working. I think um, 
in all honesty, like, I kind of, I was a little nervous about wearing the tutu and the leg warmers because I was like, okay, I don't want people staring at me and stuff. But in essence, it actually worked out better for me. And I'll say, I'll say that because there were definitely times where I was like, you know, doubting myself, I can't do this, you know? And at that precise moment, somebody's, I love your tutu, I love your outfit. You know, you go and it's just, it's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? And, and not just the whole tutu thing, but just the amount of, 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 of support that's here um, from the volunteers that come out and take time out of their day, out of their week to come and support us. I think it's an amazing thing. And it, it's definitely um, something that I wouldn't mind doing even after, even, I mean, if I were to get to the point where I, I didn't run marathons anymore, I would totally like want to come out one day and like totally support because I, I just think it's a beautiful thing, you know. And sometimes, you know, it's that volunteer, that you know, person you don't even know that's gonna urge you a little bit more and push you, you know, over the over the finish line. So, um, so and then I'm gonna walk up and, um, and find my car because my, my my battery on my phone is like yeah. about mile twenty when it got hard because my quads were cramping hella bad. Actually, my, my hand, my quad, my uh, calves wasn't as bad, but my quadriceps were, were, were cramping really, really bad. But other than that, you guys, I, I walked a lot. I, I, I felt like I got a good, a good run in. So then I was like, and I may do, I may throw in another uh, clip later when I get back to my room um, after I'm, I'm showered and fresh. Because right now I feel like crap and I can just see the salt all on, on my body coming out. And I think it's the most disgusting thing. But um, anyways, nothing else I can add. I'm going to put you guys right now. Beautiful, beautiful day. This is me, lost. Because I've been walking in flipping circles looking for my parking spot. I'm from LA, yeah, but I'm from LA. Stopped off and got Panda Express. Picked up uh, some newspapers. And um, I came back, honestly, and I just chilled. I've been chilling ever since. I did have to go drop my car off at the overnight um, parking structure up the street. So I had to walk back probably like 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops walk back, which was which is tough because I'm so sore. Um, pretty much only thing that's really sore. I mean, I'm, I'm overall I am sore. But the parts that are sore are because I freaking fell in a damn tub last night. And I think it's because I had got my, my feet done and all of the freaking stuff that was still on my feet probably mixed with the water and it just, ugh. And I actually, there was a point where I thought I was going to catch myself, but I didn't. I freaking fell, fell in the freaking tub. And I thought I fell on my butt and thought I was okay, but I actually, I guess I didn't. I don't know. Because my hip, my, um, my left hip is just really, really sore. It is just like really, really so I'm like waiting for it to freaking bruise. Like seriously. Um, in my back. So I, I think in my fall I tweaked my back, which sucks because I think that 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 alone kind of screwed my run up. Um, but it could have been worse. I mean I do believe that it could have been worse. I I basically did ten minutes um more than I did last year, which was um I think I was at four fifty four this year. So, um, and then like I said, everything, there's other parts of me that are sore. It's just that those two parts are outweighing it right now. So right, as of right now, like my hip is the, it's like if really, I get it right really now, sore. it's going to be so flipping sore. Um, I honestly don't know how well I'm going to be for walk tomorrow. It's, which is it's too funny. Um, but yeah, but overall you guys, I had an amazing time. Um, a marathon is, is never an easy thing for anybody at any age I think at least a lot, a lot of time a lot of mental um, goes into training for a marathon and so to come down to this one particular day where you take out a five six hour block of time in some cases just to do it it's 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 it takes a lot out of you and so um, overall I, I'm, I'm happy where I at what I'm happy at my what I did I'm very happy with that. Um, I wish I would have did a little bit better, but I'm okay, considering. But yeah, so I'm hoping that by the time I throw all these clips together, it doesn't get too long and drawn up or drawn out. So I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you all at a different time. Same channel. Later, guys.